I want to go over the Lauhala design that I learned and I'm going to show you kind of the different ways that it's used. So let's go over this. Now those of you that are artists out there, tattoo artists, um, feel free to join in. Oh. Feel free to join in and give you know comments or give me ideas, suggestions or whatever whatever you see fit tattoo tutorial time all right here we go so lauhala now a basic uh, weave pattern can be seen like this okay so I'm gonna use different pens here Actually, I could just go while well, you're designing it. Victoria had a question saying, where are you at? We are located in San Diego, California. Yes, um, we have a lot of viewers from all over. And was that, we were getting messages asking that. So we are located in San Diego, California which is not Polynesia, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm from Hawaii and that's where my heart is. So if you came you here, know, you wouldn't think it was it. That's uh, so many good mixed cultures up here. I would move back and maybe I will in the future. Don't leave me. <laughs> you can run the island head out here. <laughs> okay. So this is a basic Hawaiian laohala pattern. Oh. And I like to use thick and thin lines. It's not necessary. And again, who knows what's, you know, like the truth, right? The, I'm just telling you the island tat, Josh way. What, what, is that, what does that do for you? Does that just give it like a... Uh, depth. So depth. Yes, that's the word. If you guys can see, you know, it's line weight. Two different lines give two different effects. And you artists out there, you I'm sure you know this, but you aspiring artists that don't don't really understand this, it's important to use different line weights or else it all gets okay. Let's uh show you the difference. Now what's important is the spacing and all the lines have to be straight. I'm doing this real quick, so it's it's not straight, um, but straighter than my lines for sure, for sure. But you understand the yes. point, right? So when I first started, I just you know did my best and I kind of winged it and everything, and it wasn't so important to make these straight. And then I realized it is very important to make it straight. Oh, yeah, you do see a difference. Now, these are just different different ways that you can do it. There, there could be other ways, too. But you see the difference? Mm -hmm. So the bold lines here give it more depth, like, yeah, I like to say... It's more pleasing to the eye yeah. than that. That's flat. This yeah. seems kind of flat. Mm -hmm. There's no right answer here. It's they, whatever you want. Yeah, they both work. It's kind of whatever you want. It's almost like that could be shading, you know, or shadow. Mm -hmm. Now, there's this way, and this this could be Hawaiian or Tahitian. I've seen Tah Tahitians use this in Tahitian patterns. Um, I want to kind of leave some up because I want to show the difference. So you can also do this. Now, okay. So, just real quick, this, this there's in this pattern right here. This is seen in a lot of Samoan designs, and this one is seen in a lot of Hawaiian designs. Again, contemporary. 
Mm-hmm. It's just like in today, in today, this is what we see in the difference. Obviously, it's similar, but there is a difference, and you could see the difference right here. Um, I've I've seen this being said to be Nihomano or shark's teeth, and I never learned that. Okay, I've, I've never seen it like that. I've seen, I've I've heard that this could be Nihomano, and I've only seen that in a book that people bought from Amazon. And the book had a lot of weird things in it that mm. I've never heard. So that's what I'm talking about as far as information out there getting watered down and just kind of people saying whatever. Yeah. Because I've never heard of that being shark's teeth. Um, I think, like you always say, look for the consistency in information. Yeah. And I've never, I, I definitely never heard that. But these are different patterns. Um, Hawaiian, Samoan. And again, Tahitian, you in Polynesian, you mm-hmm. can say in Polynesian, but we're talking about Hawaiian Samoa. So this is the Lahala pattern. I want to show you what Lahala looks like and where it's from. Um, this is an example of Lahala mat. Yeah. Or Fala mat in Samoa. Um, here's real close, a close up. And then. Here are them weaving. Now they also do it with palm trees, right? Like coconut trees. There's, d- but it's just a weaving. It's just a weaving. Where they do mats, baskets, mm-hmm. um, all kinds of things. You it's, know, yeah. To see weave. people do that. They do it so fast too. Now these are examples of the weaving, and a good example of the meaning of a mat could be bringing together coming together Mm -hmm. um this is the pandanus tree now there's different variations throughout the pacific um but i'm sure if you've been to hawaii samoa tonga fiji all all of them they all have this uh family this tree Mm -hmm. and this the leaves of this tree when they fall and they dry out can be used in weaving Uh, here's another weaving um, like a bracelet or something Mm -hmm. Now, these are all different ideas and ways that they weave. Um, And then here's baskets. And again, let's look at the design. Let's look at the the geometric designs that Hawaiians use. So if you could look at the pattern, the very top, those are variations of Lahala. And as you see right in the middle, the squares, those could be Lahala too. Okay. And and you know how you get that. Mm-hmm. The Lahala pattern with the first example that we pulled up, the squares, you know. Because there's a lot of different ways. Yeah. Like this. Right there. Okay, so in tattooing, there's another way that you can show uh Lahala too, and I've done it in different tattoos and instead of the squares where where they do it all black mm-hmm. right in a contemporary way and this is what the gentleman did yes uh, last week when he used the lahala pattern in the back of the koru the ferns yeah um you could do lines kind of like shading every other one Just while you're designing, quick comments. Uh, Amber Sheep, Shep said, yes, this is awesome. Noel said, very educational to talk today. Solid. And uh, Renato Half a day, Amber. says, is there a, a tomorrow pattern? Oh, yeah. We had a Guam segment earlier, mm-hmm. and we talked about the laddie stone and the fish and the dolphins. You can find that in our videos on right, the Facebook. You can go back and check yeah. that out. Uh, we also talk about Guam, a lot of good stuff about Guam and tattoos and how the traditional um, tattooing was never found based on the word tattoo in Guam. There's no like Chamorro word for tattoo. Well, we did a lot of history and research. Anyway, so if you look close. At this pattern. You could see 
the drawing of the Lauhala mat. And that's what the gentleman was doing last week on in, the, in the design. Okay. And this can be used in a tattoo. I mean, you can actually shade, shadow and, and shade that pattern. And the meaning is you could use you can use it for different meanings. I've used it for foundation. Um don't know the spell. <laughs> foundation again. Oh, what am I? <laughs> Sorry guys. First one is spell it right in the comments. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> uh foundation like um you're planted. Your yeah. feet's planted on the ground. Uh, royalty also because royalty would use the lahala um, would only be able to sit on it okay um, bringing together bringing together family like family as far as uh, weaving together you bringing everyone together and, and weaving them together um also uh what do you call Hola. I, I don't know i'm not the no 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 i'm gonna you're gonna <laughs> get a it hot to my head <laughs> um but not shark teeth they're not shark teeth family Loyalty. oh tradition okay so so re remembrance So back in the day, mm -hmm. the La Hala mats was revered. It was like a really, really um, high-valued item. Mm -hmm. And when you got a tatao, when you when there were ceremonies, there would be an exchanging of La Hala, the mats, tapa, different things. So they would exchange it, kind of like you saw at the wedding. Yeah. But that was tapa. But they would they would give mats as gifts or um, even to pay for things. Oh. It was a way as a payment. Yeah. And. It's so by using Lauhala, it's like a way to remember this is what we used to do in our tradition mm -hmm. is to pay for things or give these high value items. You know, mm -hmm. this is what we did back then. So it's a way to carry that forward as remembering our past. Yeah. And, and again, these are just different meanings that I've learned personally. So again, this is the island tat way. Yeah. Let's not say it's traditional or anything. I'm just giving you an idea of like my journeys, my travels and what I've learned.